So, last week, that was brutal. I had a migraine on Monday, migraine on Wednesday, obviously no training those days, then Thursday, a late night at work, and Friday also a late night at work. So, pretty burnt out by the time the weekend came around, so I didn't get much training done at all last week. Anyways, that's behind us. Uh, I can only look forward now and make the most of these next three weeks. Uh, it's 5.30 on Thursday. I just finished work. I have to do my over-unders, but I really don't want to. Uh. Over the course of this training block, these over-under workouts were the most important workout of the week. The overs were 50 seconds at around 420 watts, and then the unders were around 60% to 50% FTP, and the duration of these unders was decreased as the weeks progressed, so starting at 50 seconds and then decreasing all the way to 30 seconds. I'm doing these because they've worked really well for me in the past, and I find that not only do they build the physical strength, but they also build your mental fortitude doing these, especially when you're doing them on your own. I really didn't want to do that, but you know. That was totally worth it. Let's go race in Boston. Saturday morning, I had a good week this week. Managed to do the two key workouts and I, I did a pretty good job on them. And they didn't feel as bad as I thought they were gonna feel. Also yesterday on Friday, I had a practice ride with the Team Canada the team uh, on the actual New York course. We were just feeling things out, seeing what we would do and going over potential strategies. And then today, I'm gonna be racing in the Joe Martin stage race for my restart team. So, let's go have some fun. <laughs> Dylan! Dylan! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh god. Let's go guys, you Thanks got for it. Good <laughs> <Nice> job, Dad. <laughs> Today, since I've done the past four days of high intensity, I'm gonna take a break off the bike and do another sport, something else I enjoy. Some of you may have noticed the hangboard. And yes, I, I do other climbing. Other than climbing on the bike, I do indoor bouldering. So today is indoor bouldering. I'll be at the gym now. Here he goes. He's grabbed the rocks. He's put his feet on the rocks. He's put, <laughs> he's put his other hand on the rocks. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> right now, I have this 1128 cassette on here, but that's not gonna work because we're riding at 100% trainer difficulty. So I'm gonna go see my friend Armando who has an 1132 and also one of these, um, I don't know what they're called, but they bring your derailleur further down to help accommodate for the bigger cassette. So I'm gonna go pick that up from him now. set installed. I still have to run some tests to see if I'll actually use this during the race because if it has a penalty of drivetrain efficiency and I lose some watts, I may decide to go for the grinding 1128. Well, it's a late start to tonight's ride. We're doing another practice round with the Canadian team. And this is a bit of a weird week. I'll tell you guys after the ride's done why. Here's what view you guys find best for racing. Third person. Third person? Yeah, I use third person. Third. I don't think I've seen anybody really use anything else, to be honest. 
So I mentioned last night this is a bit of a weird week and that's because I'm going to Boston now to help move my girlfriend back to Canada. So without further ado, here's a montage of all the things I did in Boston and probably has nothing to do with bikes. Okay, do an action. <laughs> I'm back from Boston now, and this just arrived in the mail, the Canadian kit. It's a really nice jersey. The front is all mesh, which is good for indoor riding because it keeps you nice and cool. It's also a bit see-through, so maybe not um, great for outdoor riding, depending on how confident you are. Anyways, this past block of training has gone really well for me. I've been really consistent, which is good, and I've been hitting all the key workouts, uh, which is better than most of the time, because normally I get distracted by racing and skip a lot of workouts. Anyways, uh, this week is pretty much a taper week, and tonight is my last bit of intensity. I'm going to be doing the ZRL team time trial with my Zwift team, and then for the rest of the week, taking it easy. So, let's go do that time trial. Okay, so we'll ride the first, the first uphill is maybe 6 watts per kilo. We're good. We are good. Okay, JP, wait, hold up, hold up. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's reset. Yep. JP. 7, uh, 8.30. Long climb here. Okay, Ollie. 10 seconds. Ollie's gonna set pace now off the climb, I guess. Let's go, let's go. Almost done. Go for it. Try and stay together. At least four. Oh. Good work, oh, guys. Oh. Oh. So, that's the last bit of racing, and the rest of the week is going to be taper and just random admin stuff I have to do before the race. Also, going to work on editing this YouTube video. Um, but before I go, I'd just like to say thanks to Team Canada for letting me be part of the team and having a great qualification process that included members of the community. I know a lot of other countries didn't have anything like that. And thanks to you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you guys want, I'll post uh, a follow-up video after I'm done racing to see how things go and hopefully I don't get dropped.